Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is the second part of my vlog with my nephew Jack at Williamsburg National on the Yorktown course. That was the front nine where I shot even part 36 and Jack shot 43. So I gave Jack, I think eight strokes over the entire round. So I'm quite a bit up on him here. And uh, the big deal of the last video was I made, I birdied six, seven, eight, and nine all in a row. First time ever making four birdies in a row. That was really awesome. That was a lot of fun. So this is a par four. This is a long par four. There are bunkers that are uh, drivable on the right-hand side oh. of the fairway. I hit it Hopefully really it solid, but it kind of stayed out to the right. I don't know. It looked like it was going to draw back, but it didn't. I'm in the same bunker that Jack's in. This is my nephew, Jack, who is a freshman in high school. Just finishing his freshman year in high school. He's, he's big for his age. I think he's... Uh, he's 15. This summer he'll turn 16. Yeah, he's 15 years old right now. So, I'm in a bunker. You can see all these bunkers have a lot of sand in them. Hit it really nice, and uh, I kind of was thinking about the other green side bunker, so I hit it a little bit out to the right, pin high to the right on the fringe. Not, not bad from where I was. So here I am, this is pin high just to the right. This was one of those ones where you could putt it or you could chip it. I've been thinking a lot recently and actually contacting a few different short game coaches about my lag putting because my short putting has been pretty good, but I keep leaving myself putts like these. And one guy who had gone over my short, uh, had gone over my vlogs, saw that he really did, he thought my speed control for the most part was good, just my lines on the, on the lags were not very good. So that's a very disappointing bogey there. After four birdies in a row to make a, a bogey from where I was after two shots, I mean basically with putter in my hand. That's really disappointing. The greens out here are are not great, but there's certainly, you know, that was not the issue. Very, very windy this day that we're playing, but you'll see uh, later here on the back nine, it really starts to pick up. This is a, a uh, 314 yard par four. The wind is helping here. And that was about the best drive of my life. I hit that really solid. And there wasn't a lot of wasted motion in that one either. So let's look at this slow motion is brought to you by Be Better Golf School Williamsburg coming up on June 24th and 25th. Really in sync there. The transition was matched up really nice with my lower body and my upper body. That's all reactionary golf swing stuff that we'll, we'll be working at at the Be Better Golf School coming up in Over. Williamsburg. Over, it said 3.30 on the card, but we were up a little. Yeah, that's awesome. I hit a pin high here. The wind was helping, but that's me. There's a mark here. I don't I don't think I would have carried it on the green. I hit that ball hard, trying to close the open box. Yeah, one thing that I've been working on is this thing. I need to do a video on it because it's a little bit complicated. It's called closing. Close the open box. So this is my putt for eagle. You can see that just kind of took off. Man, hit it dead center. I don't know if that was lucky or unlucky, but I, I, I think that could have gone in for the same price, the same putt. So now this is for birdie. That really jumped out to quite a ways here. You can see the face looks a little shut there. Let's see if I manipulate it. No, it was always left. That was a poor read. So three putt there for par. So like I said, I've been saying, I'm a really good putter from pretty close, but I should have, just nobody on earth is going to make that many seven, eight footers. You know, you just don't want to leave yourself that kind of putt too often. You'll be disappointed. All right, so uh, that should have been a pretty easy birdie, but it was a par. So I'm one over on the back, one over for my round, and just hit a really solid iron shot there. Pin high left. That's the thing I like about these irons. They always seem to go pin high. Good speed. Again, the line was, was not totally awesome there, but not terrible. So that's a really good par. That was 190 yards, that par three. We were playing it a, a little further than all the way back. No, it was 180 actually from where we were. Jack uh, is kind of, Jack made a good par on that hole. Jack just started the, the back nine, oh, double bogey, par, par. 
Now we go, the wind is really starting to kick up here. Uh, it's directly into our face. This is a par 5, 540 yards. And the wind is howling right at us. So I'm going to try this kind of a Darren Clark kind of feel that I do into the wind. And now the wind is Whoa. gusting. That's like a 50 mile an hour gust there. And actually, Jack was not watching the camera stand. That's why I looked at the thing, because it was windy. And I told him, well, I was like, hey, that's why you're standing there, is to make sure it doesn't blow over. But nothing got hurt. And uh, so now this is my drive into the wind. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That was good. That was a really good drive for Into the Wind. And that's actually not just the drive th uh, that I use for Into the Wind. It's actually my fairway finder now. When you really get over onto the left side and you get very aggressive with the upper body. And it has this Darren Clark or old man looking feel. Sometimes kind of like a Mr. Haversham shot. Also kind of like a Darren Clark shot. All right, so this is my monster hybrid. This is from pretty far away. I think like 250 into, the, into this hole. Leaned back a little bit on that, and I only caught the top half of the ball and just hit a tumbler down the fairway. It didn't go very far. This one was a really a complete breakdown of alignment. Hit it super solid, but I'm just I hit it where I was aimed, and for some reason I was aimed like 20 yards right of the hole. So I put myself into this spot. This is just like a complete waste of strokes here. Hit a good one out of the mulch there, onto the green, but uh, you know just can't really do much from there. Great tempo on that putt. The green was a little slower than I thought. So that's a six. The main thing about getting better at golf is no sixes on your card. And this day I've had, so far, two sixes. I'm two over par with two sixes on the card, which is four, bo four bogeys and two sixes so that's annoying this is a super difficult par three it's only a hundred and 160 yards from where we are but it is there's a, a super dramatic hill just to the right of where on the green just to the right of our you see that that slope there you absolutely don't want to go down there so i was thinking of that and hit it short left on the green this is my putt for birdie the line there, I'm, I'm trying to decide, am I under-reading lag putts or over-reading lag putts? But my lines on the long ones are not very good. All right, there's my card so far. That was a good par. I'm the score on the bottom. Jack's the score on the top. Jack made a bogey on that one. That was hit really well. I was hitting my driver really nicely this day. I started off four over after the first four holes, and now I'm two right, over. I'm going to hit a pitching wedge, but I'm going to choke up on it like two inches. And the main difference between when I was four over par and when I made all these these birdies to get my round back into something good was my driver started working good. really well and uh, just for me confidence in every other part of my game leaks from the driver so here's my third shot chipping from off the green I shot this video the day after I did that short game video with Bobby Lopez so I'm really trying to have a short back and accelerating through not over accelerating just accelerating through that's probably the best chip I've ever hit on this channel as far as looking like somebody on TV. That was really good. So that's a birdie, which brings me back to one over par on the round through 15 holes. This is a par 5, 560 yards. It's also into quite a bit of breeze. Jack hit a good shot up the right-hand side, and then he had a, a really good recovery shot to get over that tree. I hit mine left, pretty far left, and you can see there's some thick rough there and the, the fairway. So now I need to punch this out with a lot of hook. And I did a really great job of that. Not only did it hook, but the wind's blowing from right to left from this angle. So that helped me as well. So now I have, after uh, having to just punch out, but it was a really good punch out, I have 150 yards just under, it's like 147 in. And I hit a great shot there. The impact was was awesome. The shot it went a little bit left, probably because you could see my body kind of quit through that one. The lie was really bare, so I really wanted. I was a little nervous about impact. So this is for birdie. This would be like stealing after that tee shot. 
Yeah, when I can see it in my swing lag-wise, when my putts get a little longer, there's a little bit of uh, my plane changes a little bit. But that's a good par on this on that par five. Going into the par three, so there's a, this is a really cool place area of the golf course because there's this lake here that is surrounded by three different, actually four different golf holes, kind of all live on this lake. And I hit that super solid. Bit of a chicken wing there, but I've been irritated with hitting some shots left. That's really a sequence problem, not more than anything else. But I was protecting that a little bit, but I hit it really solid. Jack hit a, 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 a good shot that came up just short. It was probably misclubbed a little bit. Jack's been working on his, doing some speed training things that uh, Tony has prescribed. All right, so that one was a lot less of that kind of overswinging th thing that I do on legs sometimes. That was a great leg there. So I'm still one over par after 17 holes. Here's Jack for his par. That's a bogey for Jack. Jack is uh, n Jack needs to make a par on this hole to shoot 89. Just to give you guys a little update on what's going on. So this is a, a, a 550 yard par five. The wind is uh, is all is kind of like a crosswind. It's coming towards us a little bit. You can see the grass there. It looks pretty cool, like waves. Same thing. That's kind of my fairway finder that Darren Clark kind of shot up on the left foot aggressively using a punch shot feel with my body. Jack hit it, just kind of advanced it up in the fairway. This is my second shot. This is uh, about 265 in from here. And here we're a little pr more protected in the trees. I hit it really solid. My body quit just a little bit, which made it go left just some. And I'm in the green side bunker. And I always say like in any par five, I, I don't mind being in the bunker's green side. Here, Jack's in a fairway bunker, so he's, uh, let's see where this one lands, just short of the green. So I'm in this giant fairway bunker. You can see there's a lot of sand in here, so I'm really going to concentrate on thumping it out. I'm a little closed. My setup should be more open. Just trying to be square, basically, but that's closed to square even. That was a 54-degree wedge that I thumped pretty hard, and uh, it ran up on the back fringe. So... Uh, after all that, I have a chance at an even par round. If this goes in, that'll be birdie. So that'll be two birdies on the back, two bogeys on the front if this goes in. And that'll be an even par round to 72. If this goes in, so I was really concentrating on this, and I did something I might share later on that putt, if you guys might catch it with the left hand. Awesome putt. So that's an even par 36. Really happy to make that one. Six birdies, 72, in about a, sometimes we had about a 40 mile an hour wind. Yeah. What do you think? That's good point. All right, so say goodbye, Jack. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. That's going to lower my handicap a lot. Yeah, that's a good round. Awesome. This is a really nice course. I like this place a lot. This is where Jack's home team is. Jack uh, has got a, a lot of work ahead of him this summer, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think Jack's going to be really good yeah. by the end of the summer. Yeah, so a quick look at the scorecard here. That was uh, six birdies. This is a personal best for me as far as vlogging. Having done the entire production, shot every single stroke of the round, uh, moving the camera around and everything else. And uh, I'm sure Mark Crossfield or, or, or Peter Finch has it, but uh, there's got to be a... Uh, I wonder what the Guinness Book World Record of filming your entire round. And... Uh, yourself solo and you know what the best score is of that uh yeah my handicap on this trip got uh a little better because i've been playing a lot of golf uh, when i when i went out to virginia and i shot a good score at two rivers i shot one or two over at two rivers and then i shot even par here and those two rounds dropped my handicap so uh, i think at the start of be better golf i was a 3.9 or something like that and through reactionary golf and some other stuff that I found talking to all these teachers and just working working it out myself, uh, it's gone down some. Hey, I wanted to let everybody know about this Be Better Golf School coming up J June 24th and 25th. Email me, bedivorce76 at gmail.com, uh, and I'll send you more information about it, um, 
all the information about pricing and, and where to stay and everything else. Everything's set up really nicely at the Golden Horseshoe for us to have a really a tour style learning experience with Tony Lutzak, the uh, founder of Reactionary Golf, and uh, also with Jeff Flagg, the 2014 World Long Drive Champion. If we get enough people signed up to the school, Jeff will be the other instructor there. So uh, really excited about that. So send me an email, bdivorce76 at gmail.com to sign up for that. And here's a little promo for it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm at the beautiful Golden Horseshoe Golf Club to announce the first ever East Coast Be Better Golf School. It's coming up. The dates are right here. It's going to be myself, Tony Lutzak, and I think Jeff Flagg. I'm going to try to get him here as well for this amazing two-day golf school here in Williamsburg, Virginia. We're about uh, walking distance, about a mile from Colonial Williamsburg at uh, the Golden Horseshoe Golf Club, really a historic, awesome course. And we have a full tour style range that we can use, all grass. We have our own private range, our own private short game area, bunkers, everything. Any aspect of your game, we're gonna be working on it over these two days. So doing stuff with the reactionary golf swing, Tony Lutzak will be here with his Foresight launch monitor. It's really gonna be exciting for two days, coming up very soon, so sign up immediately, right away, because it will fill up very fast. It's a very small, limited school.